Now I'm ready to calculate slope. So I have my elevation raster here and I'm going to come into my spatial analyst tools in Arc Toolbox and navigate down to the surface tool set where I'll find the slope tool. And the slope tool asks for the input raster which will be my elevation and the location of the output raster. So I'll put it in my GP results and I'll call it slope. Again, remember that the folder and the subfolders that contain the output location of this raster data set cannot contain any spaces or the tool may not work and it won't really tell you why. Okay, and then the output measurement, it's optional. It will default to degree. I want to change it to percent and I'll go ahead and execute this tool. Because I cut my raster data set down, I clipped it to a manageable size, these tools run very quickly. If you're working with a large data set, you may find that uh, the processing time is just takes forever. That's one good reason to clip the raster down to your study area or something close to your study area. There's my slope. Let's go ahead and add it. I'll turn off the elevation raster and you can see that it has calculated slope. It looks kind of crazy like this and we'll see how to symbolize it in just a moment. But for now, let's return to the lecture.